There we go. I'm on. I'm on. Easily one of the coolest things I've ever seen. That is not good right there. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I have been keeping a very big secret from you guys, and if all goes as planned, today's finally going to be the day that I showcase it. So stick around because things could get pretty crazy in today's episode. But nonetheless, we're driving all the way up to Northern Maine. I woke up at 3 a.m. It's about six and a half hour drive and we have an hour and 21 minutes left. And the rest of the drive is completely back roads. So everyone, cross your fingers for the tiny house because we're going down some rough back roads in Maine right now. But it's been a long drive. I'm pretty exhausted. I'm not going to lie, but it's okay. Just drink an energy drink and we're gonna make it there. Pretty hopeful. Things will go well on the drive. The first official tiny house adventure and I cannot wait right now. All right, let's hit the road, finish off this drive strong, and showcase the secret that I've been hiding from you guys. Like, very, very well. I haven't seen any comments of anything saying that they saw it or anything like that. At least as, as to date that I'm filming this, haven't seen any comments of people seeing what happens. You'll see, you'll see. Anyways, big secret. I'm excited to show you guys, but let's finish this drive off, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I went to the gas station, got a new beanie. Look how cute. Scudic Lake Fishing Derby. Apparently it like helps support the derby or something. So it like goes towards a donation. Besides the point, I must just crashed twice. Um, I think someone forgot to plow this road. So I was sliding and I look at my rear view mirror and my tiny house in the trailer is over there. And I'm going straight. So I, my whole thing just went into a basically an, a V, a V. So that was fun. We're putting it in four wheel. This is so bad. We've officially made it somehow, somehow, some way. There was just so much slush on the roads. It wasn't even ice, it was just slush. And if you think I'm lying, I'm definitely not. Look at all that. <laughs> and the tiny house definitely got some love. These back roads are no joke. I mean, it is just completely covered. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the door. Oh no. <laughs> That's kind of bad. This is how far the water went up. You can see the water line from all the splashes on the road. All right, let's see if everything stayed intact. It was a six and a half hour drive. And no, not at all. Okay, wow, we got some, some work to do to make sure this doesn't happen again. <laughs> Look at my, my spice rack. I have so many spices on the floor. Wow. Okay, that was to be expected. As I was saying earlier, yes, I haven't been 100% truthful about this tiny house because it is not only a tiny house that I'm going to be camping and traveling everywhere with. Um, it's something a little bit more. When this idea kind of first came about three years ago, it was just going to be a tiny house. And then when we officially started the build a couple months ago and I reached out to Guggen, we were talking about it and we kind of made this thing a two two street wonder to uh not a one hit wonder two street wonder uh so of course thank you to guggen for making this possible this entire build's incredible this um entire trip is going to be sponsored by them so i appreciate it very much but that being said yeah let's show it off <laughs> maybe i should clean up i don't i don't know This carpet has been sitting in this exact position for quite some time. 
right after Don and I were doing the floors, we may or may not have put a hole into the floor. And there's obviously a reason behind that. And that is because I want this tiny house to be going on the ice. So it is a tiny house slash a potential ice fishing shack if you want it to be. Will I be doing it a lot? Who knows? If this goes well, I can't imagine I'm not gonna be doing this a lot, but I didn't end up putting in any of the clips of us building the hole and cutting out the hole and all that stuff because I wanted to keep it a surprise for you guys. So surprise, there's a hole in the tiny house and I've been keeping it covered for two months. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe less than a month. Definitely less than two months, probably like a month now. I've been just kind of keeping it hush hush, but here we are. The cat's out of the bag. There's a hole in the tiny house, which is weird to say, but yeah, this is a multi-purpose tiny home. <laughs> Ta-da! Now I can keep that carpet out of the way. Yeah, there's a hole in the floor. It's not the easiest thing to get up. I gotta like figure out some sort of latching system. BRB! Just some rope from the dollar store. We'll do justice for now. Here she is. <laughs> this right here is just the bottom of the trailer. A lot more thought went into this project than many of you guys probably thought, but yeah, this is gonna be an amazing weekend. The tiny house just looks so cool too. I'm truthfully very exhausted right now from being up at 3 a.m. Is it freezing in the tiny house? Heck yeah, I'm definitely cold right now, but I'm gonna like close my eyes just for a little bit or try to at least. We're gonna put this tiny house on the ice today. Like it's happening today. That is the most terrifying sentence I've ever said out loud. Nothing a little nap recharge can't fix. By the time I wake up, my friend should be here with the snowmobile and we're gonna be making it happen. You guys know Riley. He's been on the channel a thousand times at this point, so get ready for that. He's leaving work right now and it's going down. Good morning. I woke up to the sound of Riley's four by four, so. I put my ice fishing bibs on, my ice fishing boots, and it looks like any minute now we're gonna get this thing loaded up. You know there's some deep water there, right? Yeah, did you get stuck out there? No, I didn't get stuck. I don't get stuck. You know that's not gonna get out there, guys. <laughs> Why not? We're taking the whole trailer now. It has to be like on the ice though to ice fish. We're gonna take it off the trailer to ice fish. All right, picture this, all right? Okay. There is this much snow on the lake. Yep. How is it gonna go? Okay. It's gonna be like a giant plow. So the trailer's going on the ice too? You have to take the trailer. There's no other option. Oh. <laughs> okay.
I am struggling to get this off. There's so much mud and dirt and sand. Really? Like in the in the winch. Now imagine that's your shack a foot and a half off the ice. Trust the fact that I think this will work. Trust the fact that you think this will work. Okay, I love the confidence. <laughs> What's the hole about? Are you ready? No, but yeah. Is it unstrapped up front? Yeah, everything's unstrapped. All right. Why did he put a hole? Don't tell her, don't tell her. What? Oh, I know what you're doing. Oh my God, dude, I know exactly what you're doing. Oh my God. I see it happening, okay. <laughs> it broke. It broke. What? <laughs> $50 ratchet strap. It didn't even, did it just like, Go tight and instantly snap? Yeah. Those were so expensive too. You gotta be kidding. Trash. Okay. Matt, I'm gonna be real with you. It's good it happened now, not on the road. No, I'm happy it happened now. I'm not I'm not that mad because that means I need to get better ones and exactly. just spend more money. <laughs> I like the idea though. That was smart. That was so smart of you. I don't know, Justin, what are your thoughts? I don't know, that should have worked, no problem. <laughs> no. It broke. No, it's it's really not 1,500 pound rope. Thank you, Lowe's. That's awesome of you. Those were like 50 bucks. Seriously? Seriously. Any good ratchet strap recommendations, drop them down below. Preferably in a budget friendly that actually will hold 1,500 pounds, unlike the one, one that I bought. I probably just yanked on it and didn't even know. R.I.P. <laughs> 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 uh, back it up and switch sides to the other hole. Oh, it's, oh it's, okay, yeah, you're right. And, and just even it out. I think it's honestly gonna work. Yeah, at least it moved a little. Actually, I may be able to just jack this side out some now, too. Hi, camera. Is it on? No. No. Dude, I literally did this like a week ago with Lara. This is the one, right? This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. I think I said the last time too, but it's but it's we fine. Mean it this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is different. This is different. Yeah. You know why? I believe in myself. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> just came up was so good <laughs> oh my god that was so it literally went doop. uh one hole two hole three hole four hole just to explain if you aren't getting what's going on because it took me a second but this piece of wood is going in the hole straight down like this it's going straight down and then he's getting to the bottom of the hole and turning the piece of wood this way and tying it like that. Well, not tying it, but looping the rope around it to that. Is it bulletproof? Obviously not, because we just messed up a couple times, but. Actually far from it. Very far from it, but it's gonna work, I think. Hey, at least I know how to put wood in a hole. You wanna, you wanna show me how? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I left at 3 a.m. and it's now 3.30 p.m. In case you're curious. Yeah, I really was concerned. Yeah, I knew you were. I just wanted to tell you. I live up in Maine, but my fingertips are cold. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it moving? Yeah. Barely, but yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh! Oh! Dude, you're so close! Why would you do that? I don't know, that's why. <laughs> This is it, this is it, right here. 
Oh. No, I just heard everything just come out. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw the wall rip out on the corner too. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. What wall? <laughs> Ripping the wall. Yeah. No, right here in the corner, right in front of me. Oh. Yeah, the tiny house is. Wow. That is not good right there. Not the I've never seen a like that. <laughs> that oh, thing yeah. clapped my face the other day too. Yeah, I'm gonna stand back. No, you just you just nipped her. She's fine. The it's only fine. thing that's broken is the corner of the tiny house over there, which isn't like you know a cosmetic issue or anything major. Yeah. <sighs> totally fine. Yeah. Specific like style is called a square drop, and I've always just been fascinated by them. I think they look really cool. Um, I don't really want to know what it looks like inside. Yeah, I'll do it for you. No, oh, perfect. <laughs> is it bad? Deep breaths, Becca. Okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad. No, no, I'm kidding with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's right here. Maybe that's where it happened. I don't know. If it makes you feel any better. You should see what the inside of mine looks like after it got blown over. It will probably make me feel better. <laughs> it will, trust me. Dang. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to just like clean on the inside and get it ready, and we'll be fishing soon. There. We need to get it on blocks since it's so low to the ice, too. Well, so far, we're just adding blocks to it because when we decide to actually take the tiny house off the ice, it's going to be very difficult unless we actually have it up the, off the ice more. So, you know, Riley's a professional here, which is really, really nice because someone's got to know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> How many ice shacks have you built? I'm on three now. Three. This is my first rodeo, even though it's not an ice shack, it's just a tiny house with sleds on it for on and off use here and there. We're just gonna make it look nice and pretty and help ourselves out in the long run when we decide to take it off I'm gonna go and go from there. And here is not that bad. Um, there's absolutely no spices left on the spice rack because it all came down. My lights came off, um, you know, the actual Bunk beds came off that wall a lot. It needs to be pushed back in. But, you know, the Guggen flag's still standing tall, right? And that one. And that one. House number 10 for 10% off of GuggenSquad.com. Code Becca, 10% off. House number 10. This thing's going to need a nice cleaning after. I could actually get to the end of the rainbow right there. It, it starts right on... The lake. Go get it. Go get the end of the rainbow. We could add, look at this. This is the perfect rainbow. Holy crap. That's uh easily one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Now imagine if we can catch a fish in this video. That would be pretty much the perfect video. So I'm gonna clean up all the disaster in here. Alright, here we go. I'm rocking with the new uh Kugan Reel. We got the new Guggen crappie swimmer in the new crappie Guggen jigs as well. It's gonna take a while to hit the bottom though. We're in 71 feet of water. Yeah, I can't, I'm not working anything. It's too much interference. Shoot, really? Yeah. There we go. I'm on, I'm on. Oh my God, I'm on. <laughs> no! That was my fish. Dang it. That hurts. It's something about once that sun goes down, the lake trout don't like it. They don't want to eat. So what we're kind of dealing with right now are very picky lake trout, which kind of sucks, but we might not have caught a fish today, but we hooked into a fish. So that's a perfect cliffhanger for the next video. We got the tiny house somehow off the trailer and onto the ice and onto a perfect fishing spot. 
So all I can say is just stay tuned and hopefully we just crank them tomorrow and the following day, but I'm going to end up hitting the hay and knocking out on the bed. So I'm going to wrap up everything now and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much to Guggen for helping me make this tiny house possible because truthfully it's an expensive project and I couldn't have done it alone. So thank you to Guggen. If you guys want to support the channel, support the build, support everything, make sure to go to their website, use code Becca at checkout, save you 10% off. You guys can use the baits that I'm using right now. They got some new crappie jigs and a bunch of other crappie baits that are so perfect for ice fishing. They got a bunch of different size hooks as well. They're obviously crappie hooks, but again, they work perfect for ice fishing and there's so many different sizes as well. Um, but I'm going to keep sitting here and jigging for a little bit longer, but I kind of know the outcome already because the sun's gone down and we got to see a pretty cool rainbow. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode as much as I did. It was a brutal one, but so much fun. Yeah, these fish aren't going to eat. <laughs> I'm going to close out the video here. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate you guys. I love you and I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.